This is the latest Lineage OS based on Android Pie for the Redmi Note 7 Pro, which is the 31st July 2019 build for this device. And yeah, I have flashed it when I am decrypted and by the way, I have flashed it with the fcrypt disabler and of course with micro g apps. Well, the flashing procedure will be like explained in this video in the card. And by the way, I have been using this ROM for like almost a few hours now. And this will be a quick review of this ROM. So let me start it from here. Let me just quickly go to the settings panel over here. If you go into the about phone and Android version, here you can see the Android version is 9 and you can see the build date over here 31st July 2019 of course nightly build for Violet or Redmi Note 7 Pro. The security patch is latest July 5th 2019 and here is the like stock kernel version which is the Perf Plus kernel. Let me quickly go back if you go into system we do have a system updater over here which says the Lineage OS 16.0 version over here and you can check for updates of course. Let me just go back quickly. Well, as you guys know, the Lineage OS is not known for a lot of customizations, but it is really known for like really great stock Android experience with a little touch of customizations. And that is simply present over here. And by the way, the stock launcher is the trebuchet launcher here. So do not expect any kind of double tap to sleep or something. Let me quickly show you the settings of the stock launcher. As you can see, there is no like amazing customizations like the gestures and stuff you can just swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel and you can expand it just like this we have heads up disabling option and stuff in the quick settings panel night light and stuff is there so pretty simplistic and by the way you can go any like wi-fi or like any bluetooth settings from here so this is pretty great i would say and to the left we have the google now cards over here and it is like working fine and by the way the stock camera present over here is a little weird which is the snapdragon camera and i do not like it personally so i did install anx camera and it is working super fine over here and if you want to install it just install the 130 anx camera right now and flash the 48 megapixel fix with the twrp recovery and it should work fine and about flashing this rom well when you are decrypted on the twrp recovery which means simply like your twrp does not ask any password when you have that or if you do not have that just format your storage like by flashing havoc os or something so once you have a decrypted storage then you can straight up flash this lineage os zip then flash a micro g apps or like arm 64 9.0 micro g apps then flash the f clip disabler and reboot the rom will reboot fine otherwise you may see a little bit of boot loop and stuff so I'm just saying like you have to flash the fcrypt disabler if you want to use these kind of ROMs. Now let me show you the settings panel over here again. If you go into system, you will find these kind of customizations like buttons, status bar, etc. So these are like all the customizations we have pretty much over here. And if you go into gestures, we only have this swipe up on home button. So this will just like bring the app drawer and stuff. So pretty simplistic. Let me go back and we have jump to camera if you like quickly press the power button or something yeah and prevent ringing and stuff these options are there and let me tell you that there are no three finger screenshot gestures if you are expecting those now let me go back if you go into buttons we have like normal button layout customization and if you go into that you can invert the layout as you can see my back button is currently to the right side and over here we of course have the power menu customization and we also have the long press for torch and the advanced reboot is not present you have to enable it from the developer options by the way and here as you can see long press for torch is there so if i just like lock the screen and hold the power button it will just toggle the torch so this simply works fine which is not working on the latest havoc os so yeah that's how it is and let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed quickly over here and by the way by testing the fingerprint scanner speed one thing that I have to tell you guys is that like the haptic feedback vibration over here like which happens whenever you tap on the fingerprint scanner or you tap the home button this vibration is really really harsh and you can't control or like decrease it. So that is one bummer with this lineage OS I am noticing and this vibration I mean it's just too much and that's how it is it is a nightly build so I can't really complain much but yeah that's how the vibration is like whenever you tap home back or like whenever you touch the fingerprint scanner whenever you are unlocking the device it's really harsh on your hands and like 
it's really weird by the way if you have like if you want volume customizations yes volume panel customizations is there show panel on left like the volume panel it will show up to the left if you enable that and here is how the volume panel looks like you can put the phone into silent or vibrate from here of course and you can expand it and control the media notification and alarm volume from here let me go back so if we go to status bar we have the quick pull down option from where you get the like quick pull down from right or left and system icons is there so that you can enable headset bluetooth etc icons but let me tell you that there is no vault D icon present over here in this room even when you are expanded like this area there is no vault D icon present but vault D does work super fine and in the in call ui there is call recording and video calling option too and here we have the am pm style clock position changing option show seconds and stuff but do not expect any kind of android q battery logo or stuff like those and here as you can see we have just like icon portrait circle and text for the battery style and you can change the percentage position of course to like next to the icon or inside the battery icon and brightness slider is there and also we have this brightness control this is really interesting and i really like this feature on like most roms as you guys already know if you have been following me you should know that i love this feature and yes it is there it is really handy feature for me at least let me go back so that is all for these kind of customizations but if you want some colors let me show you if you go into the display settings we have the night light from where you can turn on this night light option and it makes the display totally yellowish as you can see from the screen let me just turn it off you can change the live display like color from here from this live display panel and you can change the whole rgb and the hue saturation intensity and contrast of the screen so that is just great and if you go into style as you can see there is the like theme option of the automatic by wallpaper or time of the day or you can choose it to be light or dark as you prefer and accent colors are there too so that if you don't like this default lineage os color you can change it to blueberry cherry forest cyan or something like those colors like you can change the holy y accent color from here and for the dark mode there is a default and like deep black option if you need those and there is an automatic option too now let me just like scroll down we do have the double tap to sleep option so if you double tap on the status bar from like anywhere it will just like make the phone into sleep and as you can see it works super fine and there is the double tap to wake option too let me just test it and as you can see it does work and here is the lock screen there is no like weather or stuff like that like there is no temperature or something so yeah that is how it is let me just disable it and wake up on plug you can disable it too and if you go into sounds and there is the touch vibration you can totally disable it or like get the harsh vibration everywhere so make sure you are like aware of that whenever you're flashing the rom or i'm just letting you guys know that the vibration is right now really really harsh let me just show you the sound settings more and as you can see we have the media call volume ring volume alarm volume controlling stuff over here and also vibrate for calls are there but there is no me audio direct as you guys are noticing that the panel is simply missing the me audio direct panel so yeah the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is pretty flat so you don't need to worry much about it it's pretty normal and if you go to battery well this is how the battery settings looks like and over here the battery life i would say is pretty decent i'm saying it again because as you can see i have 51 percent battery left i got around four hours and 10 minutes of screen on time on like average and let me show you the battery usage i have charged the device eight like hours ago and since then i have been using the device pretty heavily and right now like i have used around four hours of screen on time and 50 percent around battery so you can pretty much get seven to eight hours of battery life with this rom without any issues now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app you know, speeds and the ram management and yes i know you guys want to know about the google camera and stuff yes camera to api is pre enabled so you can install google cameras if you want to over here and as you can see the app open up speeds are not bad it's pretty fine and the animations are like pretty good too let me open all the apps from memory again and by the way if you have noticed in the chrome that like this is the latest build of the 31st july 2019 of the lineage in the official website so I know it is already like 3rd August but there is no update till now and one more thing that I want to talk about but I'll talk about it later on as you can see the RAM management is pretty decent no issues whatsoever like with the RAM management I just accidentally opened me remote it was not opened in memory but yeah now I can open it too as you can see 
all the app stays in memory no issues whatsoever oh my god whenever i switch like this it is really really harsh vibration i just keep saying it because it's a really weird feeling when like i'm getting this much amount of vibration by the way if you want google pay yes this is a perfect rom for you because google pay or banking app should be working right out of the box on this rom and i did set up and google pay is working fine for me now and over here one thing that i'm noticing is that there is no network traffic indicator or something like that by default at least i could not find one i think and i use this internet speed meter app which is not simply working like if i try to open a website let me show you even if i try to open it does not show the speeds on the like on this internet speed meter app so yeah kind of weird that that app is not working but yeah since this is a nightly build i'll take it now let me just open pubg and like quickly show you guys that if you can play pubg on like the ultra settings or something like that so as you can see from the graphic settings you can play on hd and high or you can go balanced and ultra or like the smooth and ultra but there is no like hdr or something like that of course and the gameplay performance should be fine here is the end to the score of this rom so what are my opinions about this lineage west on the redmi note 7 pro well i would say this is a pretty great alternative for the pixel experience rom and you can pretty much get a stock android like experience and everything is like super smooth over here no issues whatsoever like for lagging or stuff like that i did not face any kind of random reboots or any lags either over here and there is audio fx too so that is one like good thing but yeah we are missing me audio direct over here so based on this video you can decide that if you want to actually flash this rom or not as this is a like good alternative to the pixel experience rom but i would say in terms of customizations and the stability it is not quite there yet but that's just totally my opinion so let me know in the comments what do you guys feel about this rom and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet and share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the latest lineage os on the redmi note 7 pro the lineage os 16 specifically so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching kd and Egg. this is tiro signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now